I'm James Stellan. We're here at Universal Hyundai. Today's car review is on the 2015 Hyundai Genesis. This is the 3.8 liter, the V6. It also comes with a 5.0 liter of V8. We have the V6 with us here today. This car is a car that's very rare that comes by every once in a while that we can sell on our pre-owned lot. Usually people who buy this car keep it for a long time. This one might have been leased, um, but we have it here on the lot. It's gone through inspection. It's good to go. Um, just to start off with the front, you notice you got the big polycarbonated headlights that are wraparounds. Hyundai's kind of known for doing that. And this is their luxurious brand. Now, now they're not even called Hyundai Genesis. They're called Genesis G80 or the Genesis G90. Eventually, they're going to probably try to open up their own dealerships for them, kind of like Toyota has Lexus and uh, Nissan has Infiniti. Same thing with the Genesis now. So this is our high-end car if you're in the market for a high-end vehicle with great driving dynamics, a lot of horsepower, a lot of interior luxury luxuries. This is the type of car you'd want to be looking at. Um, it's price pointed very well. This one has very low mileage. If you're looking at the grill, it looks very aggressive. You have the smart cruise control sensor here. That's this plate here, which will sense the cars in front of you. This has automatic emergency braking, so it will sense and detect metal that's in front of you. It will try to brake for you as well. And the smart cruise control is a setting that you put on when you're in cruise control. It will keep you at a certain distance from the car in front of you. So if the car in front of you starts to slow down, your car starts to slow down, even if it has to come to a complete stop, it will. Let me pop open the hood so you can see how well designed they did this engine area. Um, the first thing that pops out to me is all the setup with how the installation is sealed. As you can see, the shape of the sealant here at the top forms right with the sealant over here. So once you close the hood, it's going to keep everything up very quiet. It's going to reduce the heat from the engine to the paint on the top of your hood. You have stabilizing bars here. Um, that's going to help you with the driving dynamics of the car. It's going to keep it more stronger and it's going to give you less road noise, better turning ratios, etc. Um, you really have to test drive this car to see how it feels because this car is more for that. Um, the, the quietness of the ride, the luxurious of the ride, and um, of course the torque is about 290 pounds feet of torque. You probably get around 311 horsepower, I believe, on this GDI engine that's V6. And the intake is ex extremely big. Let me, um, you have your, uh, for example, also something I wanted to point out. You can uh, charge your, say your battery died, you can charge it up here if you want but the, the battery is actually located in the back. Um, that's for driving dynamic purposes. Um, they like to have the battery in the back, I guess to level out the car a little bit better so your driving's a little bit better pretty much. So they're just proportioning the weight a little bit different to give you the best experience possible. You have your hydraulic lift. Hyundai's its own steel manufacturer. They produce high quality steel. It seals up very nicely. Like I said, this is their luxurious car, luxurious model, the, the Genesis line. You have your LED daytime running lights. You have your HID headlights, high intensity discharge headlights. You got your alloy wheels, about 18 inches, very nice. You got your chrome slit here. It's push button to start. Um, you got your headlights that open up on their own. They close on their own. You even have a Genesis emblem that shines from the bottom of this. So on the ground at night, you'll see a nice little Genesis emblem. It's kind of like the emblem that's on the back of the car. Let me show you real quick. Basically, they'll have like a, a lighting of this symbol on the ground with the wings and everything on the ground. It looks really nice. And obviously, when you lock the car, the mirrors are going to fold back in for you. Let me just open it up real quick to show you some of the inside of the car. Um, you have what looks like more than just the eight-way power seat here with lumbar support. You have Lexicon speakers, which is a very high-end speaker. You have your subwoofer in the back. Now, I have my, um, it's a luxurious car, so I have my uh, lumbar support. If you notice, I could extend this out here too as well for my knees here. I have my memory seating here, so for those who are, have trouble getting into cars, if you're older, you can set up your memory seat for you. So say you wanted to sit here, you set it just like, just by holding the button. And after it's set, when you turn the car off, the seat will actually push itself back out so you have easier access outside of the vehicle. Then when you sit back in the vehicle, you start the car, it's going to put you where you need to be on where you previously set it. Now, this car, you have paddle shifters, it's full leather. You got heated ventilated seats. You have an auto hold button as well. You have panoramic sunroof. Um, just to go over the auto hold button for those who don't know, an auto hold button is just a button you press. Uh, I could 
click it right here. Now, now when, if I'm in drive and, my foot, and I come to a complete stop, I can take my foot off the brake and my car won't go forward. So if it's in the, in the auto hold mode, hold mode, if I have to grab anything in the back, I can do that. I can take my foot off the brake. Um, it's a luxurious feature. It's in most of the luxurious cars nowadays. To let go of the auto hold, you just press on the gas pedal and it will release the auto hold, I mean, and you'll be free to go. You've got your paddle shifters, Bluetooth cruise control, eight inch HD backup camera with navigation. You also have lane keep assist. Lane keep assist is a safety feature that tries to keep you in the middle of the lane. Um, that comes equipped with lane departure warning as well. So if you hit the lane, it's gonna beep. It's also gonna try to pull your car back in. If you leave it on active lane keep assist, it will actually try to keep you in the middle of the lane. That's why if you've seen those Genesis commercials with the guys, they have the blindfolds on, um, they're kind of letting the car be in smart cruise control and the lane keep assist is active. So the car is basically driving by itself. Now you have to be going over 40 miles per hour um, for that feature to be working. You obviously don't wanna be wearing a blindfold, um, but it, it will be highlighted here on your screen if it's active. It will. Uh, um, you have uh, a little indicator here that turns green to let you know it's active. But you have to be going over 40 miles per hour for that to be working at least. You got the electronic parking brake. A lot of space in the back. Um, the, the panoramic sunroof goes all the way to the back. I have my rear shades here too for my comfort. I even have the, the rear shade up here, if you notice, in the back behind me. Here, let me, let me um, put that down. If you don't mind, hey, um, get a view of the back. I can turn the rear shades down just like that, as you notice, up and down. Um, it's a luxurious car, so if you're in the market for something that has a lot of amenities and, and all these luxurious features, this is the type of car you'd want to be looking at. LED taillights, got the 3.8 liter badge. An easy lift, you obviously have a little power lift here, so it's easier to lift up for you. Extreme amount of space, you have the weather mat here too so in case anything's wet nothing will get wet there you can flip this too as well you can flip it over if you like you have carpeted you have your grocery holder there's your spare tire and there's your battery down there now this car has a 110 point inspection on it so it's been certified by our dealership it still has warranty left on it up to 60,000 miles basically bumper to bumper what's that going to cover a navigation, Bluetooth, cruise control, audio system, engine and transmission, all those things are covered up to 60,000 miles or five years, whichever one you hit first. Um, keep in mind, this car is very rare to come by. So if you're interested in the Genesis, get here as soon as possible. We'll take you for a test drive. We'll give you some numbers without any hassle. So at least you get all the information you need before you leave. If you have any questions, comment on the page below. If we missed anything, go ahead and comment if you have any ideas. Um, but subscribe to us and check out our next video.